Hey everybody, it's your boy, Glenn Webman 69 back here with a quick review of Air Rescue Captain America. I know with the Captain America First Avenger movie looming in front of us, a lot of people will be dusting off their Captain America figures and showing them off here on YouTube. So, I've decided to jump on the bandwagon and dust off my Captain America figure here as I think it's probably one that collectors will neglect. Um, he is from the Spider-Man and Friends action figure series. Not only an action figure series, there was associated merchandise. There was Spider-Man and Friends bed sheets and stationery sets and lunch boxes and curtains and lawn mowers and microwaves and lampshades and etc etc you get the idea um spider-man and friends as a concept was toy biz's attempt to take a big bite out of the preschool market i guess cynically you could say the sooner you get um people associating with your product um, then you have them for life, i.e. if you get them into Spider-Man and other Marvel characters when they're, you know, naught to four years old, they're much likely later in life to continue with the trend. Um, so Spider-Man and Friends ran, I think, from about 2002 through till 2006 when the Marvel license transferred from Toy Biz to Hasbro. Um, and... They were largely aimed at um, preschool children. They're very child friendly here. A chunky figure, easy for um, small hands to play with. Um, no small parts that you're likely to um, choke on or poke your eye out with here. Um, all the figures in the line featured an accessory. Um, they all had this back part where the attachment attached to. This air rescue attachment was common in the line. There was also a Spider-Man, which um, pretty much featured the same get-up, probably a bit less stars and stripes in decoration. And um, if you press the button, it spins around. Captain America is off to go kill some Nazis. He's not really. He's back. You'll get the Nazis later. Um, also came with the shield here. And features, I mean, basic articulation. Head, shoulders, legs. Um, does also articulate at the wrists there, his gloves. And what I liked about the Spider-Man and Friends figures is um, stylistically they were all very similar. Um, it wasn't in certain lines where you get kind of different sculptors working on different figures and figures from series one don't really look like they go with say figures from series seven with spider-man and friends there was a strict characterization that was observed and that's something i always liked with the figures um facially they were always known for being smiling wide-eyed and smiling even the villains in the series and there weren't too many villains um I don't think they wanted to corrupt the preschoolers innocence with the idea that characters could be evil um, so it was easy on villains and the villains they did feature um, were all wide-eyed and smiling as Captain America is here there was a lizard a doctor octopus a green goblin um, but the characters were much more um, hero based um, so there was Captain America here, Iceman, Cyclops, Wolverine, Colossus, Beast, Iron Man, um, Mr. Fantastic. And then the rest of the line comprised of lots of variations of Spider-Man. Um, there was a um, boxing Spider-Man, 
um, the ever popular Deep Sea Spider Man and Sandbox Spider Man. There was Spider Man dressed as a construction worker. Um, I think they were aiming there towards Fisher Price's Rescue Heroes which were featuring similar kind of construction figures at the time. And also in um, Spider-Man and Friends, they actually conceived of a female character. It was pretty much the only female character in the line, Spider-Girl, which actually shared no resemblance to Marvel Comics Spider-Girl or any Spider-Woman. It was very much a um, creation for the line itself. And of course now in hindsight, Spider-Man and Friends as a toy series is probably best known for being a forerunner for Hasbro's Marvel Superhero Squad. There's Captain America there from the Superhero Squad, which um, stylistically there's a lot of similarity between the um, two products. If I just bring the camera in closer, you'll get an idea of... Um, how the stylization it's easy to see how Spider-Man and Friends became Marvel Superhero Squad so that completes my review of Air Rescue Captain America here thanks for sticking with me through to the end of the video as ever please comment rate and subscribe and I hope you all enjoy Captain America the first Avenger the movie um, fingers crossed there you go um, and at the very least, think positive. It can't be any worse than Green Lantern, right? So me and Captain America here, fire him up. We are off to go kick some Nazi butt.